Hey everyone, Dream Envoy here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time, we completed what could be interpreted as an allegory for the liberation of transsexual women. Or if you wanted to take things liber literally, we saved a bunch of carpenters from being kidnapped by thieves. And in doing so, we managed to obtain the Gerudo's card, which allows us to explore the fortress without fear of being captured. Because we are seen as one of them! One of them! Anyways, following the same path that we took in the previous hey, video, listen. I ended up making our way back here. There he has it! That is where Ganondorf the Evil King was born! If we go there, we might find something! Yep, Navi will start seeing that once you complete the Gerudo Fortress. Anyways, go ahead. Take our Skulchula, that's number 89. Now, if you hop back over here. Let's see, is it over here or is it up? I believe it's up on another level. But we go over to that corner, Navi starts flying over there. Now, if you're um, in a specific area, you can actually long shot over to that treasure chest. But since I'm actually not able to reach that view, I'll instead pull out my ocarina. Took me a little while to remember my Scarecrow song. You know what? Since I've been using this tune for such a long time, I might as well not even bother changing it. Anyways, hook shot over to Pierre. And open this chest for... Pretty interesting to explain this tune, despite does not being in a dungeon, but that may be because... It may be because we obtain a piece of heart. That should be number 34. Two more left in the game. Now, while it's still nighttime. Wow, <laughs> that was weird. Oh, like just grabbing onto the edge like that and falling off. You may notice that uh, there's a part of the map that looks like a giant um, eight. We're gonna head over there. Well, I guess it's kind of like an ink. It's kind of more, like, extremely elongated. But anyways, roll up here. And you'll find that there's pretty much a whole bunch, an area with a whole bunch of targets. And if you make your way all the way to the end... Do this, I guess you can kind of consider it a goalpost. Yep, you already see it. It's another gold sculptula. Just be careful not to hook onto the target because I believe you can actually hook up here. Alright, that should be number 90. Yes, it is. I think that I can hook shot up there, can I? Yeah, you can, so be careful about doing that. Anyways. You want to go ahead and pull out our ocarina? We end up back over here. And as we go ahead and travel over to this side. We're pretty much just making our way back to that eight-shaped area. And while we're here, we want to go ahead and summon Epona. Problem is, Epona is kind of... well... Should be around here. Yeah, she's not exactly the brightest horse when it comes to this area. 
Well, with her trying to, well, reach Link by going through a wall. Anyways, the Gerudo are gonna be friendly to you from now on. I guess Ganondorf is pretty much an exception in that sense. Now when you get up here, Epona kind of tends to slow down. So go ahead, use a carrot. And I'm gonna demonstrate to you pretty much the hardest piece of heart you can obtain in this game. Hey newcomer, you have a fine horse. I don't know where you stole it from, but... Okay, how about challenging this horseback archery? Once the horse starts galloping, shoot your targets with your arrows. Let's see how many points you can score. You get 20 arrows. If you can score 1000 points, I will give you something good. I practice this so many times the other night. So much so that it actually took me an hour and a half to get this piece of heart alone. Yeah, this is challenging, but hopefully my practice is enough. It's only 20 rupees, but I will tell you, it will eat it up. Want to aim down a little bit? Aim up there. You kind of want to have be around this range. Preferably, you want to be around um, 800 points. And there you go. Awesome. Fantastic, you are a true master. I will give this to you. Keep improving yourself. Okay, the piece of heart itself is not too difficult. However, there is another reward here. When you finally learn to ride a horse, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you have to talk to her while riding on Epona. Uh, Link. Uh, no, Link, what are you? Epona? Epona, you're actually being difficult. You should set a new goal of 1,500 1, points or 1,500 points and try again. This is going to be challenging. It. You want to gain 1,500 points, like she said. This is what took me 90 minutes to attempt. Already off to a good start. close oh my god I was actually very close the first time I swear it took me 30 minutes to get this all right on to the compilation unless this is my first I'm successful this time that was terrible Ah, oh, come on, the last two, really? All right, left, just slightly down. Crap, crap, you gotta be kidding me. That was awful. Come on, if I could get a perfect score. 
Oh. Mediocre scores are better than... This is. Like so. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, God. Ah, oh, man, after so many high scores. Bullseyes, I mean. I know I can do this. So let's do it. A30, that's a good score. I have no choice but to lose. Yep, I got a perfect score. Well, a bullseye, but I still lost. I have the power! I don't have the power! I have perseverance! And failure! By the power of Grayskull, I have confidence! By the power of Epona, I have confidence! I the power of not talking anymore, I have the power. Nine hundred, I might have a chance. That only took me like, okay, that only took me 30 minutes. <sighs> Thank goodness for save states or else I'd be running back and forth trying to grab more rupees. I'll be darned, you are an ultimate master. I'll grant you an item suitable for the master. This cover is very important to me. I want you to have it. Take good care of it, okay? All of that, just so I can carry 50 arrows. Did I think it was worth it? Yeah. I think so. Too bad there isn't much more, there isn't any bomb, additional bomb upgrades. All right, now that we have that taken care of, let's continue on with the adventure. Man, Epona keeps freaking out at just everything, little thing. Hey, newcomer. Yeah, every single Gerudo will say that, even the guards. Nice talk to you. Hey, rookie. Are you going into the desert? I'll open this gate for you, but... You can't cross the desert unless you pass the two trials. The first trial is... The River of Sand. You can't walk across this river. After you cross it, follow the flags we placed there. The second trial is... The Phantom Guide. Those without eyes... 
that can see the truth will find themselves returning here. You are going anyway, aren't you? I won't stop you. Go ahead. And awesome! And we'll bring Epona with us! Why? Because I want to ride through the desert on a horse with no name. Da 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 da. I can't walk through the desert on a horse with no name, unfortunately, because Epona has a name. Therefore, she's afraid of the desert. If only she was nameless, then she could totally walk through the desert. Haunted Wasteland, if you chase a mirage, the desert will swallow you. Only one path is true. Well, she mentioned that we are gonna need the Eye of Truth. So yes, you're gonna have to complete, have to complete the bottom of the well in order to get across here. Anyways, go ahead and enter the Gerudo Desert. Rather, the Haunted Wasteland. If Link stands still, he'll begin sinking into the sand. So you want to go ahead, stun this, and you want to go ahead and lower it just so the dot just appears. Right there. This will allow Link to get across. And now the whole point of this dungeon is to follow the flagpole. I already failed. And I lost a heart in the process. Well, you got to see what happens if you uh, fail. How does sand make a clinking sound? It's not even hard sound. He is clearly flowing. But anyways, you want to watch out and try to see the flagpoles. Those regular enough to venture in the dungeon? Please stop by your shop. Yeah, there is a shop around here which will be like the guy on the carpet. I will not go out of my way to find him. He actually looks like the Swordmaster from Majora's Mask. Carpet Merchant. Well, we're gonna ignore that and just continue following the flag posts. You see the next one over here. I am so sorry for people who might be colorblind because this area is practically impossible. Anyways, as soon as you get to two gold poles, you're golden. And it's completely optional, but you can actually go inside this building. Be careful not to fall down because Link will take damage. And at the very bottom, another gold sculpture. Just waiting to be nabbed. That should be number 91. I don't quite remember what that shop had to offer. I think he was just like selling, you know, arrows and bombs and stuff. Actually, I think he just sells exclusively bombs, but I'll show a message on screen if I'm completely wrong. Anyways, let's climb all the way back up. How does a sandstorm get down in the hole? Well, I guess it kind of makes sense if, depending on how the wind blows, but anyways, our next objective is to come up here. We've already completed the River of Sand. And there seems to be another sound effect. Like whooshing sound, but it's not the wind. One with the Eye of Truth shall be guided by the, to the Fear Temple by an inviting ghost. I'll be your guide on your way, but coming back, I won't play. I'll show you the way to go, so follow me and don't be slow. It's just a matter of following this Poe and don't get left behind. 
How does a Poe know the path through the desert? I have no idea. And we get new enemies, levers. Just ignore them. Again, ignore the levers. Probably a good idea to get as many hearts as you possibly can. But then again, I've only lost one and a half hearts so far. Thankfully, levers don't really um, turn around, but anyways. That Poe is gonna float up into the sky. And welcome to the Desert Colossus. We are right outside the Spirit Temple. Where there's even more leaders. Before entering the temple, however, since we don't need the Eye of Truth anymore, I recommend pulling out a bomb. And I didn't mean to damage that lever, but anyways, go inside, find ourselves inside another Great Fairy's Fountain. You know the drill. Pull out our ocarina. Have you noticed that Zelda's lullaby actually kind of looks like the Triforce? I only just realized this. Maybe it's intentional. Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you my magic spell. Please take it. <laughs> All right, we got Den's Fire for Ares Wind, and now we get Nehru's Love. You would think that it would probably be water or ice, but nope, it's love. I guess Nehru decided to be a little bit different and um, not representing an ele one of the elements. Okay. Well, that breaks alchemy. Nehru's love is an effect for only a limited time, so use it carefully. I do not like that close-up. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. <laughs> what Nehru's love is something I'm probably never gonna use in the entire game. Because it uses twice as much magic as Stin's Fire and Four Hours Wind. But what it does is that it pretty much puts up a temporary shield on all side, making Link impervious to damage. Well, well, I mean, it makes Link technically invincible, save for pets. It's kind of like a downgraded version of the magic cape from Link to the Past. You wouldn't think so, because a magic cape is just a magic cape, and Nehru's love implies that it's related to Nehru herself, who is a goddess who helped create the Triforce. Uh, whatever. Anyways. I hate levers. I was going to wonder if Le Navi can even um, investigate it, because she turns green instead of yellow for some reason. Watch this movie carefully and let it go by. Yep, that's pretty much all you can do. 
Leaflers are pretty much were pretty much my least favorite enemy from the original Zelda game. Well, actually, PS were. We are literally at what we can presume to be Ganondorf's former home. Get out of here. Actually, wouldn't it be funny if Gan that tiny house that we obtained the previous Gulchula in, wouldn't it be funny if instead of being born here at the Desert Colossus, Ganondorf was actually born inside that tiny house? I doubt it, considering you'll actually learn a lot about Ganondorf's um, backstory in this area, I mean... We know that he was born to a tribe of all women. And time actually flows here. Anyways, welcome to the Spirit Temple. Our first objective here is to leave. I kid you not, that's how you progress. You enter and then you leave. Oh, hey Sheik. How's it going? Past, present, future. The Master Sword is a ship with which you can sail upstream and downstream through Time's River. The port for that ship is in the Temple of Time. To restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through Time's Flow. Listen to this Requiem of Spirit. This melody will lead a child back to the desert. You have learned the Requiem of Spirit. Huh. <laughs> that time, Sheik didn't even need to, um, use the Deku Nut. She could just use the Desert Sand to her advantage. Now let me show you what happens if you actually try to go inside the spirit temple. Oh wow, Link actually got hit there, but didn't matter because he had a heart. Over here is a small little hole that Link cannot crawl through even though that he obviously can. The game is actually trying to say that Link is too small, is way too big to fit into that tiny hole, but that's not the case. As for this, this is a block that you can push and pull, or at least attempt to, but it is just way too heavy. So, uh, it seems like we simply cannot complete the spirit temple. But, Sheik did suggest that a child will return to the desert someday using the Requiem of Spirit. Well... Ah, oh, what was the prelude of light? There we go. That's the prelude of light. Or prelude of light. However, it's supposed to be pronounced. But as Sheik was hinting at, we actually have to use the Requiem of Spirit as a child and actually complete the Spirit Temple as, well, a child, strangely enough. 
So, I think I'm gonna end it here. Next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'll meet you back at the Spirit Temple. Seven years ago. See you guys then.